Hey guys, welcome back to Terraforma Craft. Now, in this episode, we're going to need to make some pottery. We need to... I'll show you how to actually set that up and cook it. Basically, you need to make the pottery and then cook it in a pit kiln. Uh, we need to make a gold pan, find some more copper, and hopefully make some metal tools. So, the first things you're going to want to make with the clay that you got is some vessels. These things here. To make them, you just take off the four corners and that makes a clay vessel. I'm making three of them. Uh, we need a water jug, so to make a water jug, you do that. You can find all these recipes on the Terraforma Craft Wiki if you, if you forget them. And I also want to make a large vessel, so to do that, I believe, we need to do that. Yes, a large vessel, you'll need a whole pit kiln for that. Um, and I also want to make some bowls. Do I remember the recipe for bowls? I think it's like an upside down pickaxe. Yeah. And now, due to this update, you only get two bowls every time you make them. But you do have a chance of getting them back when you eat a salad and stuff. Basically, you can make meals in this. Uh, you do have a chance of getting the bowls back and, or also losing them. So... First thing we want to cook is our vessels and our water jug. To put them in your digger hole in the ground and shift right click to place them in there. You can do this on the floor if you just want to store them somewhere you can just place them on the floor. Uh, to cook later if you don't have the inventory space for them like, like these bowls you can just place them there. And we also want another one for our large vessel. Come here. That takes a whole pit kiln for itself because it is quite big. Definitely a good thing to have early on to store food and other stuff. Now, I need straw. I don't have any, so let's go punch some grass and we'll get some straw. Uh, you need eight pieces for each pit kiln and also eight logs, so I might need some logs as well. Okay, 18 is definitely enough straw, and we're going to chop down this tree. So, I, I apologize for the last episode being so long. I didn't realize until after I finished recording it that it was like 30, just over 30 minutes long. That is definitely too much, but hopefully you guys still enjoyed it. Um, okay, now to... Place the straw in there. You need to do straw first. You need eight pieces, so just right click. You can just hold it down and it will place the maximum amount. It just fills it up and do the same with logs. Just right click on the top. Six, seven, eight. And your pit kiln is ready to go. Now, to light it, you need to either use your fire starter like that or you can just throw a torch on there which is a lot easier and it should like light like that cool this rain is really annoying so yeah the last episode I it was like 30 minutes long and I was using a for any of you guys that know about like recording and file codecs I was using an RGB Codec and the file was 275 gigabytes, which is way too much. So I'm using a different codec this time. I'm using Motion JPEG. Hopefully the file size is a lot smaller and a lot easier to record multiple episodes. I I kind of want to put shaders on right now because I do love shaders in the rain. It goes all blurry and beautiful like this. And screenshots, because I love the screenshots. Cool. I don't know why this is white. It's like milk coming out of the hill. Really weird. Cool. Those, those take, I believe, like half a day to cook. Um, yeah, so we'll be here a long time. In the meantime, we can go and gather some more straw and stuff, because we'll need that. 
for more pit kilns and get some more food like these tomatoes. You might even need another another large vessel because they are good. You can basically you can close it up and store your items in there, or you can leave it open and it will collect rainwater, and that's an easy way of collecting fresh water if you don't have a river or a lake nearby. These sheep, I, I've got your name. I'm going to kill one of you. There's two males and one female. Okay. Not yet. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you graze around for a while and then you shall die when you least expect it. Alright, we got some ore in here. I believe this is kaolinite or kaolinite. That is is useful further down the line when you need to make crucible and stuff like that. But for now, it's not very useful. We have got a lot of tomatoes. Why can't I... Oh, because this one's cooked. Okay. Cool. Right, we need to go and find some water because at the moment I can't sprint and that's not good. If anything tries to creep up on me like a bear, we will be in big trouble. So, um, also we need to find some copper. There was some around here, so I will keep looking for that. But we also need, need a gold pan, because I don't think we're going to find eight pieces of copper around here. So it might be a good idea to get a gold pan. We might do that in the next episode, I'm not too sure. Depends how much we can get done in this one. So yeah, what do you guys think about the shaders? When it's when it's raining, it's not too bad, but when it's sunny, it is. Uh, it does look really cool, but it's definitely it can be a lot. Like sometimes a bit too much. Frame rate is not too bad. I'm getting a constant 30 FPS, which is good. But yeah, some people say that they get headaches from watching TFC with shaders. Um, it might be a good change turning it off for a season. I'll probably put it on every now and then, like if we make a new building, just to just to look at it. We'll put shaders on because it makes everything look so much better. Okay, and we've looks like we've got some grain over there, so I'm gonna get it because we'll need some grain in our diet. If you don't know about TFC and different food types, you do have well you do have different food types and you need to basically manage the different food types to keep your diet healthy. That didn't even give me grain. Okay. So I'll leave that to grow. Basically, if you go, if you press E, bring up your inventory. Here you have your inventory slot. Here you have skills. You've got a bunch of different skills: general smith and tool smith and armor, weapon smithing, agriculture, which is like farming, uh, cooking. You can make meals and stuff. I've told you about that. Prospecting is basically finding ores. Um, butchering is you you build your skill your butchering skill up by killing animals and the better your skill is the more meat you get from killing an animal which is quite good you've got a calendar it's early summer june and you've got your diet so there's five different food types there's fruit vegetables grain protein and dairy dairy you can only get by um finding cows milking them and making cheese out of that i don't think you can drink milk at the moment um, protein is obviously meat, and there's also one kind of vegetable, one crop, which is soybeans, which gives you protein. Ouch. Uh, grain is anything like wheat, barley, stuff like that. Vegetables, obviously vegetables, and fruit is obviously just fruit. You can get berry bushes or fruit trees. Um, Fruit trees provide provide a lot more fruit than berry bushes, but berry bushes are uh, they're they're good decoration and they're a lot easier to find, I believe. Speaking of fruit trees, I'm gonna plant one 
around here. So it'd be good to get one growing. Um, there. They'll start off like this and then they'll grow. And eventually they'll get more branches on them and you can chop those branches off to get more fruit trees. So it is a good idea to have a little fruit tree farm. Oh, and our, our pit kiln's just finished. So I want to get my large vessel out as soon as possible because what I want to do first with it is collect some water. So if we right click on this, it's collecting fresh water. If you didn't want that, you can seal it and or empty it and seal it quickly. Or if it wasn't raining, you could uh, empty it or just set it out. Loads of different things you can do with it. But once it starts collecting water, you can't put items in it. Well, you can put one item here to like make uh, make a mix of something. We'll talk more about that later because you can make weird stuff like vinegar and alcohol. Okay, ceramic vessels are basically like small chests. You can store four small items. Um, if you look here, you've got the name of the item and then light and tiny, which is its weight and its size. You can store light, well, small things basically. So stuff like copper nuggets. Um, let's put some seeds in there as well. And it will we'll show you what's in them and then you can store them by shift clicking on the ground. <clears throat> For now, I'm going to store... Aha, see that tomato is too big to go in there, but this cabbage is not. You see this little white bar here, that's basically how much food. You've also got the amount there in ounces. I'm going to store all my clay and stuff. Things I'm not going to use right now, I'm going to store away in here. And this one. Cool. We will need some more of those, but the large vessel is also good for that because it can store a hell of a lot more. I think it can store 12 items, or 12 stacks of items, actually. So, let's get our bowls cooking so we can actually make some gold pans, or a gold pan, you only need one. Um, I need some more logs, so let's go and chop down another tree. This takes so incredibly long. It does get, obviously it does get quicker if you have a better tier of tool. Oh yeah, you saw there it chopped down a bit of two trees. More log. Aha, more copper. Yeah, if you have a metal tool, it will take a lot less time. It still takes a long time, but a lot less than a stone tool. Cool. Let's get that lit, and then we can work on making a gold pan. Now, we can't make a bed unless we had a large hide, which you only get from killing large animals like bears or cows. Um, we can make a basic bed. Um, to make a real bed, to skip the night, we need to actually get enough wool. To make it, I believe, you need three or six pieces of wool, and then you <coughs> you basically turn that into yarn and then use a... a, a, a I can't remember the, the word for it. Basically, a, a tool to turn that yarn into wool. We don't have that ability yet, but we do have... <coughs> a jug to blow in and to collect water to drink cool it's definitely a good idea to have more than one jug because they will break when you drink from them they have a chance for, of breaking uh, are these dry yet no nope, they're still wet because it's raining okay that sucks so what I think we're gonna do is head up here and see what we can find up there. This may take a long time. I may die in the process. Yeah, let's go for it. So, if you've got any suggestions for mods or ideas for the series, let me know. Um, also, if you have any idea how I can get 
Archimedes ships to work with terraformer craft. It's mainly the helm. I know. I know you need to. Um, I think you need to put Mind Tweaker in and then create a recipe for the helm in Mind Tweaker. I have no idea how to do that though, so I might need some help with that. Can we get up here without drowning, without dying? Yes, we can. Awesome. Uh, it's dark. Torches. Okay, this is really small. And scary. I... I thought this mountain would be bigger. There's more of it there. Uh-huh. Okay, maybe we won't build a base up here because this is really small. But we could have something up here like a lookout or... It might even be a good place to do food storage because the higher the altitude, the colder the temperature. And the colder the temperature, the longer your food will last without decaying. So this could be a nice place to store food. Like build a little hut up here, a little house up here or something. Okay. Yeah, it's not looking like a good place to make a base. So we'll skip that idea. How do I get down? Please tell me. Show me. Here? Yes. Okay, let's, let's go back down. And I think I might want to turn shaders off for now. I'll take a quick screenshot and then we'll turn it off because it is really dark with shaders on. You guys should be able to see a lot better now. Are you still wet? You are still wet, okay. So I think I'm going to wait for the um, for the daytime. I'm going to do some stuff, make some make some more tools, get some more logs and stuff, and we'll resume the episode in the daytime when we can actually make a copper pan and hopefully go and get some more copper so we can start making metal tools. I believe we've got four. This one? No. This one. Yes, we've got four pieces of copper at the moment. We need at least ten to make our first tool. Okay, our bowls are cooked. It's almost daytime again. And you can see that some of these, or all of these except this one, are a slightly different color. I believe that's because these ones are dry. Yes, and this one's still wet. So I'm going to pick these ones up. And hopefully we can start making something out of them. I think we don't have anywhere near enough to actually make a shelter from these. But we can start. So you take these and you can turn them into placeable bricks. We should have 20. So that is... Oh, zombie. That's not too bad. It's... It's a decent amount. We could actually build a small shelter with that if we use cobblestone as well. So you can craft cobblestone with the stones that you pick up from the ground. Might need some more, so let's quickly pick up some more while we run around avoiding zombies. And also I turned the shaders back on, you may have noticed. Um, I forgot to really show you guys the different types of shaders in the daytime. So we'll try and do that in this episode as well. <clears throat> but I must remember once it gets dark again, that will be the end of the episode. I forgot to 
set a timer on my phone. Which is not good. Got some more tomatoes here as well. Okay, combine. That should be enough rocks. So if you play some two by two, you get cobblestone from that. Might actually need some more. Uh, please, just burn, please. Follow me over here. Rotten flesh is completely useless in this. You can't, uh, you can't eat it. You can't really do anything with it. Okay, so one more piece. And actually, while we're here, I'm going to come up here and try and get a screenshot. Beautiful, beautiful. Cool. Okay, so where do we want our, our base? Or our little starter shack for now. I think, I think here is probably the best place, actually. So we can use this as our back wall. It's really annoying when you just have one piece of wood and it takes so long to chop it. Once you get a saw, you can you can chop down player place logs a hell of a lot quicker, but for now, we don't have that. We actually need to work on finding some metal so that we can make that. Please don't fall. Please don't fall. Good, good, good. Okay, so, cobblestone. Actually, first... I'm going to do that. Sweet. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Actually, I want to go there. Slightly bigger. I think we're going to need some more of these. Maybe not. Maybe we just have the perfect amount. Good. Um, actually, we're going to need a door. I didn't think about that. <laughs> okay, so that will do for a door. Um, and we can place logs... For the roof. Hmm. Okay, for now, I'm just going to go like that. Just so no spiders can get in. So we have a tiny little dark hole to live in. But that's fine for now. I will work on making that look a little bit more pretty in the future. But for now, we need to go and do some gold panning. So we've got some bowls. I completely forgot to take one. So if you take a bowl, put it in your crafting slot, you can turn that into a gold pan. Now, we need to go find some water. I believe it works with fresh or salt water. It doesn't really matter, but you need water to do anything with this. And on the way, we're going to change up the shaders to a light version. 
see what you guys think of this. You still get the uh, the shaders feel, but it's a little bit easier on the eye and easier on the frame rate as well. Okay, so we've got a little pool of water, basically. Get a shovel. It needs to be flowing water, and there needs to be gravel underneath. So, actually... Can we... No. Okay. Uh, might have to dig out some gravel first. Cool, six blocks, that should be enough. Uh, also, you don't get the fancy water. You might be able to change it so that you can get fancy water, but default, you don't have it. So right-click with your gold pan on a block of gravel or sand, and then hold right-click in flowing water to sift out all the bad stuff. And hopefully, I believe it has to be the top of the block. No, it doesn't have to be the top of the block. Hopefully, you'll hear a little pop of something going into your inventory, and you'll get... Um, you have a chance of getting a bunch of different metals, gold, platinum, and copper, I believe. It's a very long process, and it's very tedious, but when you don't have a pick, it's like the only way of getting copper, if you can't find it. So yeah, let me know what you think about the shaders. This one is quite good. Hopefully it's not too bad on the eye. Uh, trees don't wave in the wind or anything like that, but it still looks quite good. Let's check out Silders in the daytime. This one is really weird for me. It looks okay, but it's just weird. Nothing? Okay, this is going to be a long day. Six pieces of gravel, and we got nothing. Uh, okay, we need need a shovel. Which means we need rocks. So, I'm going to do a bit more gold panning, and hopefully I'll be back in a minute, and I can trim this video down so it's not incredibly long like the first one. Okay, pop, and we got, finally, got a piece of copper. One piece and I've done like 10, 10 blocks of gravel. Another pop, we got another copper, great. So that's six in total that we got. And you can overwork it. You can't um, just keep gold panning forever. You will eventually have to move on to a different area because there'll be nothing left. It will say this chunk has been overworked. Basically, you're going to have to move on to a different chunk to find some more ores. Okay, there you go. This area seems to be overworked. You probably wouldn't find much. I did... Let's see if this is in the same chunk over here. Because I did start doing it here as well. Aha, we have a different chunk. Aha! Aha! Ah, right. I am going to put something here. What can I put here? Gravel and a torch. Because I found some copper. I've only found... Well, I probably panned about 30 pieces of gravel and I got three pieces of copper, two platinum... 
and that's not enough we need four but we found two pieces right next to where we were gold panning so we have enough to make a metal tool at last uh, five in here and four in here crap crap Okay, we don't have enough. We still need one more. That was clever. Real clever. Okay, so I marked that spot because I found copper on the ground. I'll come back later when I've got a prospector's pick and I can search around, find some more. But we still need one more piece, so I'm going to go around... Whoa, armored skeleton. I'm going to go back there right now and I'm going to search for one more piece. Yes, we found one. Okay, so we got enough metal to start making our first metal tool. I think we're going to do that in the next episode because we're running out of time. I'm just doing some finishing touches to the house. See how this looks. Well, I say house. It's more like a little starter shelter. Yeah, that looks okay. It's not... Nothing, nothing amazing. I might actually take these three out, put another cobblestone there. That might look better. So anyway, that's all we got time for in this episode. I'm going to move some stuff into here. And in the next episode, we'll make our tool. I'm not sure which tool yet. Either a pickaxe or a saw. And then we can start getting some more metals, making some more tools, and actually doing stuff, building stuff, making stuff. But that's all we got time for in this episode. I'm going to quickly turn shaders on because it looks so beautiful. So if you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. really helps me out, really helps the channel grow. If you have any suggestions, let me know. I'm always welcome. I'm always open to new ideas and stuff like that. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.